particles, electrons, small atoms, have wave-like properties. Let's look at that in terms of a chem quiz. How many photons, they're going to behave like particles, should about stop that sodium atom at 80 Kelvin? The sodium atom impacted by the wavelength of light behaving like a particle, behaving like a photon, about how many will stop that? About one, about 100, about 10,000. Think about that and make your selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each answer. A, one particle will interact with one wave by the de Broglie relationship, so it'll be a one-to-one -one relationship. B, 100 photons reduce the temperature about 100 K. That's near zero, and the sodium atom should be about stopped. Or C, the sodium atom wavelength is about 1 10,000th the photon wavelength, so 10,000 photons are needed for an equal transfer of momentum. Think about those three explanations and make a selection. Matter has both wave and particle characteristics. We've seen the momentum and the wavelength are related by the de Broglie relationship, and we calculated it for several different objects. Now we're saying, well, a sodium atom is going to be traveling at about 300 meters per second. It's going to encounter photons of 600 nanometer wavelength. About how many photons have to strike those sodium atoms to get them to slow down and about stop? Well, if you look at this, here's the sodium atom traveling at 80K. That's its temperature at about 300 meters per second. It has a wavelength, as we've seen, about six tenths of a nan or six hundredths of a nanometer. Those photons of yellow light coming in at six hundred nanometers. We can say, well, I want the momenta of these two systems to be equal. I want to transfer enough momenta from these waves to stop the particle. So the wave has a particle nature. It has a tiny little momentum. I need to transfer it to this larger momentum. And here comes the sodium atom, and I want to bap, 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 bap. Keep hitting it with photons until bap, 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 That sodium atom about stops. And I can do that by just calculating the momenta of each. And as I do so, I see that the momenta are related by their wavelength, by the de Broglie relationship. And we can see the momenta of the photons are about 10,000 times smaller than the momenta of the sodium atoms. So what I need are about 10,000 photons to about stop a sodium atom. You can actually do this experiment. It's fabulous. Uh, the this experimenters who did this were awarded a Nobel Prize for what's called laser cooling. You can take atoms and slow them down, the smallest, lowest temperatures ever achieved, by cooling things by traditional means, in refrigerators and by vacuum pumping, and then using this additional method, using lasers to trap the atoms and bounce photons off them till they virtually come to a stop. The lowest temperatures ever achieved by what's called laser cooling. The correct answer for our laser cooling experiment is C, about 10,000 yellow photons to stop that sodium atom.